Hello everyone, welcome back to some more EU4. I actually had episode 37 recorded a few days ago, but I wasn't really happy with it, so I decided to scrap it. I waited a few days, it was basically New Year, so I figured, you know, I'd take it a bit easy. I had some time to sit on it, I'm like, you know, I'm not going to be happy with that episode in the way it is. There's just too much frustration and swearing, so... I figured I'd scrap it, and we're now here, again, to basically redo that video, except not do the things I did in that video, because I basically declared war on Elsa's over here. They're not one of the uh, electors, but they are part of the HRE. You know, surprisingly little of the HRE is left, but there it is. We're gonna try and dismantle it before we're done with this playthrough, but, you know, we'll have to find out later. For now, though, we're going to be looking at other people that are war at, because, well, I kind of want to see if I can break the alliance between France and Portugal. Because Portugal, if they're considered co-belligerent, will call in France, and I don't want to fight France again. They're my ally. I got really sour and salty over that. Because I didn't see it coming. I didn't read the small print. Now, that's the downside of Germany leaving the, uh, the Holy Roman Empire, sadly. But we do have a PO for Britain now. Oh, the British have a fleet led by Anne Bonny. Interesting. Anyway, I think we might want to declare war on Norway, actually. Because Norway is pretty easy to take on. They're allied to Castile and Utrecht. Castile is in heavy debt right now, and they like us. So they wouldn't... They probably wouldn't join that war. We'll take the Imperialism CB and we'll conquer their capital. We'll try and, like, vassalize them. So we have Norway over here. We might be able to do something with Finland as well. We'll have to find out. Either way, we'll have someone else to annex. And we can feed them Swedish land. And then, at some point, we will diplomatically integrate them as well. There's going to be so many diplo points that we are going to need. It is going to be insane. Kind of want to hire a new advisor, to be honest. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. You'd give a Master of Mint, you would give Theologian, Inquisitor, those are all administrative, I believe. You have a Diplomat, Naval Reformer, Statesman, I could hire them, but I'd rather have the Minister from over here. Sadly, that's gonna take 10 more years. So we're just gonna hire the best guy we can. Because we make the most money out of pretty much everyone. Only Portugal has a higher income at the moment. We're actually not getting any war reparations from them anymore. Eh, we're still getting a ton. But yeah, all the monarch points for everyone. Land maintenance modifier minus 10. It's not gonna make it's not gonna earn us any money. I mean, 10% off of 32 is gonna be 3.2. That's not gonna be worth it. Either way, they're going to get us military points, which we desperately need, as we need to stay on top of everyone. Let's take a quick look at Diplo relations. We're currently on 6 out of 6. We're leading the union with Britain. That one's going to stay for 50 years. We've got a royal marriage with Burgundy, hopefully to try and get a PU out of them at some point. We've got Savoy in there, although they have an heir now, I believe. Yeah, they do. It's of the Montoro uh, dynasty. Interesting. Let's check dynastic map out real quick. We've got the von Hohenzollerns over here. We've got the Romanovs in Russia at the moment. Who are basically a queen consort. Oh, the Tsaritsa at the moment. She's basically taking temporary control for Vasily von Hohenzollern. And then we'll have a Hohenzollern on that throne again. Don't really see any Hohenzollerns in the area, but that's okay. Poland and Hungary actually have a shared... Oh no. No, Hungary, you've blobbed enough as it is. God damn it. We're gonna have to put a stop to that, but... Yeah, we're gonna be looking towards Norway. Because they will be able to eat Swedish land, and then we will be able to eat them. It will be bloody gorgeous. Currently got growing corruption. 
someone corrupted our officials, and we've got internal conflicts. But aside from that, we'll be fine. Lost a dispute against Poland, it's fine. Don't really care about pursuing trade disputes, to be honest. Currently, our fleet is bringing our armies back home. I would like to take this stack of rebels out as soon as we can. They're Prussians, though, so it's gonna be rough. So to say, it's gonna be very rough. We're gonna take a ton of casualties doing it. Well, you know, that's how it goes. I'd like you all to transfer. Gate trade protection CV. I'm gonna install a counter espionage against Hungary. I don't trust them. And that's why. Liberty desire is now 54%. It's gonna go down because our relation with them is gonna go up massively. I don't think we'll need to support loyalists. It'll be fine. Armies are in position. Good. I think we'll wait out this siege, actually, because it's taking them a lot longer to siege us, because we have a lot of defensiveness. And we, at the same time, have a bunch more defensiveness as well. So, they're not really going to get anywhere, and we're just going to sit here and watch. Pretty much. Got some good generals. I have faith in them. Oh, you have an extra unit of artillery. Interesting. That explains a lot. Oh well. We'll just swoop in in a minute and we'll take care of them. Burgundy still has disputed succession. Oh, that's beautiful. Burgundy! On monarch death, a noble from House von Hohenzollern will succeed to the throne. Beautiful. Hope the Burgundian inheritance doesn't fire and screw us over. That would be uh, ironic. Historically, Austria and France ended up splitting land, but with the HRE this screwed, who knows what's going to happen. I don't think any of it is going to be good. Back. I can move over there. I'm not sure if Sweden would let us walk through their land. At the moment, they would not. Hostile attitude, Swedish opinion, German diplomatic reputation. Right, well, we're going to call him back from Hungary, since we don't need him anymore. We're going to go declare war in Norway. We'll force vassalize them, because why not? They're easy. That's Beck, he's going over there. I'll send you to keep an eye on Utrecht. Oh, we've got Sigmund von Merkatz as well. Yeah, I'll send two of my armies to Utrecht then. And one to basically go to Norway. Two of a kind! A three skill commandant. Ooh. Or 50 military power. No other consort is as brave as Ursabina. You know, I would kind of like a commandant. Thank you. Russia appreciates the discipline. Or rather, Germany. <laughs> Back to 134%. Excellent. We can get that up a few notches more. Much better. That'll be much better. So, uh, yeah, what do we do? What do we do? Well, we crush, we humiliate, and we destroy. Have fun, Norway. You're gonna be in trouble now. So we've got Argentina, Australia, British Peru, British West Indies, Great Britain, Newfoundland, and the 13 colonies. All on our side, and yet our fleet is the largest. Norway is looking pretty boned right about now. Oh, now you will want to let us through. We're at war with a neighboring rival. Excellent. We don't even have to embark. I'll set you to be sieging, why not? Too many diplo relations, we're gonna cancel military access with Brabant. There we go. Don't care about Venice anymore either. Got the looming disaster, we may have to boost our stability. It only costs us 80 points at the moment. I was kind of hoping we wouldn't need to, to be honest. Can't be stopped by having no unrest, but we have unrest, which is a shame. 
Send the war fleet to blockade. I mean, we start with a 14% chance to take that fortress without a blockade. I just want to point that out. We start with a 14% chance. Beautiful. That's why we send our siege leader. Already at 42%. Now this is a wasteland that we can't traverse, which is fine. Ooh. I'm almost surprised it's going on for another month. <laughs> we our alliances, etc. That's good, as I expected, to be honest. Oh wow, 57% and they still haven't given in. I mean, it's not gonna take that long. Oh, you got fully defensive. Not bad, no way. Not bad at all. I mean, the, the important thing is that you tried, really. Oh, two of a kind. Didn't we just get that one? Didn't we literally just get that one, though? We will just ask uh, your other friend that you also invited over to work a bit harder. Excellent. Three ten percent yeah, let's go and... There we go. We'll put those military points to work militarizing the country. Back up to 137% discipline. It's the German way. Uh, you know what? We're gonna detach like 2,000 units here and just move on, if you don't mind. Ooh, you actually have a good fort. Interesting. Right, you're gonna join us. There's their fleet again. They've got three heavies. We actually captured one. Not bad. I like that. Oh yeah, we're gonna tell you to repair. That seems like a decent idea. We can't walk through that, that's annoying. Let's beat you guys off. This is gonna get nasty. Pretty nasty. Now, how long do we need? 27 days each. Ooh. Oh, well, we breached the walls. That helps. That tends to do it, yeah. Is this your capital? No. In colonialism. Oh, in Oceania. Portugal's... What? Oh well, not my concern, really. I don't really care about the colonial game. It's way too late. We'll just sit here enjoying life. Let's see. Fleet, you're done repairing? Good, get out there. We need that blockade run. We could assault the forts, but I don't really feel like throwing a ton of lives away, really. That seems contrary to my efforts, somehow. Right, we've got a bunch of people idle now. Improve relations with France, or rather maintain them. Uh, keep Castile like me as well, if you can. There's a Norwegian army in... British, okay. Uh, I'll tell you to not have a focus. You should just sort out your own stuff, to be honest. I think you'll do fine. Is there any large wars going on in here? Nope, everyone is pretty much at peace for some reason. These guys are passive as hell. Spirit of Session? Ooh, France! Oh! Ah! Oh! All monarch death and succession war between Germany and Hungary. Yes, please! Oh my! Oh, did we lose a. Ah, bugger. Golden Heavy Frigate in Danzig, it's only gonna take four months. Ironically. Wilhelm Friedrich III is now secretive. My god, yes! Thank you! Mm. That's a good trait. Foreign spy detection, plus 20%. Yes! I approve wholeheartedly. Sadly, attrition is taking a bit of a toll on our army. I'll take it. You guys merge, we now have 36 heavies. 
36. That's a good number. Oh, and we finally have a chance to take that city in a minute. Good, because that siege has been going on for a while. We've been losing some men over it as well. Well, we can get our Diplotech up, we can get three deckers. Extra naval morale and maintenance. You know what? I'm gonna take it. We'll be ahead of time. Yearly corruption will go down. Trade efficiency will go up. That's gonna mean we make some money from trade. Hell yeah. So that's gonna mean like seven extra ducats in theory. Cool. Yeah, seven ducats. Neat. Savoy, Allied Utrecht. Did we ever go to... We never, ever bothered, like, attacking Utrecht yet. We've got to change that, don't we? No forts. Oh, that's just fancy. Just terrific. Thank you. I will gladly occupy all your lands. Are they actually in the war? Oh, yeah, yeah, they are. I didn't see them for a second. Oh, we have finally taken that castle. Great. Yeah, we're gonna go crush and kill now, if you don't mind. Just a German way, after all. Hello. We have discipline. You are gone. 150 casualties. Oh, the capitals. Where is the capital, anyway? Oh! Us. That's your capital. Oh, blimey. Right. What would it take to get you to become a German vassal? Eh, you wouldn't like it. And again, do I care? No. The answer is no. We do not really care. Whether you are ill inclined to join us or not. Oh, hello, we just occupied all of Utrecht. Excellent. Relations with Castile have been up. I think we'll get Mainz to like us. Just because we, you know, could use them liking us, I guess. Stavanger has come under control. Excellent. Just, oh, we're pushing their fleet out. 2 4 22. Yeah, they're gonna die horribly. I mean, we've got 20 transports as well, but, you know. Ours have a strong escort, yours don't. There goes the truce with Hungary. Truce with Aragon. France's relations with us are maxed again. You, you still don't have a legal heir. Oh. Oh. I want that succession war. Oh. Give it to me, please. That would be so much good news for us, you have no idea. Actually, you might. A PU over France and Great Britain and Russia possibly and Burgundy Ooh, I'm getting all tingly just at the idea of it this is pretty much the best game of EU4 I've ever had by the way I think you can it's not too hard to imagine that oh we sank our two heavies fair enough We're gonna go and execute some quick repairs. They do have a level 8 fort. Aragon's threatening our trade. Oh no. Right, that should be enough to siege it. Hungary has slammed the good name of our merchants. I don't know how your spy ring keeps getting away with it. I'm gonna install permanent counter espionage there for crying out loud. Uh, improve relations with Russia, because. You know, I'd like them to like me. No, our diplomat in Sweden has been discovered, yet we can't find the bastard from Hungary. Some peasant that's uh, stirring everything. Internal conflicts are still a pain. I'll boost the ability by one, see if that helps. Oh, yes it does, actually. Okay. Fair enough. Ports are I don't really care. Why have we still not taken Meppen? Seriously. That should have fallen a long time ago. Oh, their fleet is leaving. Hi. Russian relations are up. 
Who else would be spying on us? Send another rival. Can't add a rival at war. I think I'll add the Ottomans, although they're a bit distant. Yeah, we'll we'll do it anyway. Can I improve their relations? No. I'll improve Lithuania's relations, though. Even though we're pretty much gonna fight them anyway. It's not gonna matter that much. 64% chance that you still haven't taken that fort. Art thou for real? I have a feeling thou art pulling my finger here. Can we just take it? That'd be great. Oh, Beck, by the way. Uh, we can't go there. Finally! Yeah, we're gonna go hit them. We're gonna just basically wipe them out. Hi, Prussia. Um, our Prussian ancestors say hello. Yes, there we go. Fix it. Of course, we are the one, the Germany. There we go. Repair the boats. Like, I would appreciate if you just surrendered at this point. We all know what's coming. Let's be honest. No reason to fight it for longer. We have to. Uh, we'll teach him humility. Fleet! Could you blockade them for me? Yeah, they're gonna cause issues over there, so that's fine. They don't want to roll over for some reason. Uh, demand for representation! We'll make vague promises, like, no, you're not going to get it. That's how it's going to be. Sorry. Defenders desert. Again, 57% chance. There's more chance to take it than not take it, and it just doesn't happen. This is some vile heresy, I tell you. Oh, France still. Oh, please. Please. A succession war between us and Russia now. Sure! I'll fight Russia. I'll... I'll beat them hands down as well. Please! I want it! I really do! Oh, that's their entire fleet nuked. Excellent! Ooh, um, instead of repairing, I'd like you to go over there and actually, uh... Blockade. I will not cede provinces to you. I'd actually take those provinces, you know? Oh, they would not accept this. That's only three aggressive expansion. Oh, that's a bit more. Fair enough. Yeah, no, I don't care about any of those lands, to be honest. Would it be too late for, like, German colonial possessions in Canada? It sounds like a pretty swell idea. Oldenburg, Osnabrück, and Meppen. I'd get three provinces. We have a permanent claim. You'd pay me money. It'll cost us 92 Diplo. We are ahead on Diplo now, though. 25... Uh... I'll decline it, I think? Actually, let me see. You dragged. We're in a separate piece. You dragged. See what we get. We get a lot of aggressive expansion. How would this give me only 25? Oh, probably because it gives it more to other people. I'm going to decline this. I would like to... You'll, you know, we'll take Osnabrück. Why not? It's going to be between 1 and 15 aggressive expansion. So that's a 6.1, they mean. That's a 25. I don't think we can take really much more without pissing off everyone. Uh, I'll take war rep. Do we take money? 
Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank you. Core it immediately. It's already a state, so that helps as well. We've got a permanent claim, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll increase autonomy, I guess. Yeah, autonomy's gonna go down quickly anyway. Especially once we're at peace. So that's that war done with them. Would you take the peace deal finally? You would not. We're still gonna have to take your last province for that, I believe. I'm just keeping a nervous eye on France because I would really like that. Oh, you want more control of provinces. Uh, sure. There we go, that ought to fix the nobility problems. You know, they they just want some more development in their provinces, that's all. Oh, we have won the Siege of Rondal. Is that enough to get the peace? Not quite. But we can wait it out from here on out. And down goes their fleet. Excellent. I might... Pull you, yeah, I'll probably pull you guys back and into, like, hibernation again. Or mothballing, rather. Church. Ooh, point 0.14, yes. Point 0.8, why not? Point 0.6, fair enough. Just upgrade all the things. Ooh, 0.43, Anything else? 0.25, we have a winner. 0.45, oh hell yes. There's a long building problem. Uh, long building cycle, sure. Let's upgrade our forts as well. We're gonna replace a bunch of star forts. You see now, star forts are not bad. There we go. But better forts are better for everyone. Mostly us, though. It's also gonna help keep our army tradition a bit higher. Although that's not gonna be a problem, so eh. Oh, you're more willing to take the peace deal now. I approve. I'm gonna walk you back over there. How's our Diplo relations doing? Still six out of six. Annex subjects should go away pretty soon. I don't. Uh, I think. Sabotage gonna away, go away in two years. Annex subjects gonna go away in one year. So, yeah, we'll be fine. Liberty desire of the British low as hell. At least low enough that we can, like, take Norway. Then we'll probably fight Sweden, because we'll only have to take on Poland. I'm not gonna lie, I might get a coalition against this to fire. At this point, I probably wouldn't even care. Right, welcome back home, everyone. Ah, they're nearly there. Excellent. Uh, Sweden? Hi. We don't need the um, military access anymore, thank you. Cool. Uh, nobles demand privileges. Gain disorder, they will lose 5 loyalty. Or lose 10 prestige. You know, I'll take 10 prestige. We're gonna get it back during that peace deal anyway. Hi. Nobody will join a coalition. Interesting. It's because of the location of Norway. Because, you know, if we took, like, one more province off of Utrecht, they would join a coalition. Brabant would join a coalition. Now, since we're taking on, like, Norway over here, they don't really care about Norway. Boop. Beautiful. Colonialism, Casus Belli. Oh, so many. It's beautiful. You're a tad bit disloyal, though. Why is that? Your opinion. Trust. Diplo reputation. You've got quite a bit of development because of your... Uh, your lower people. That might be a problem. Yeah. 
we can't exactly uh, support loyalists either. Hey, you know what? It'll be fine. We'll start improving relations with them in a few minutes. <laughs> you really think you're getting somewhere, eh, Portugal? You really think you're making a difference to the HRE, which is, by now, a broken mess. It'll be gone long before we finish. Salzburg, you are cute. Portugal would defend them. They would join. France, have you broken up with them yet? No. It's okay, we'll, we'll get a PU over you soon. Everything will be okay. But that's... Why do you keep getting away with this, Hungary? What the... What the frick are you doing? Oh, you've got espionage ideas, right. So, their spy network grows a lot faster. But it doesn't give them any extra stealth or whatever. Espionage ideas. Spy network construction, 50%, diplomat. Foreign spy detection, so they're better at finding out our spies. Cost of fabric claims goes down. There is nothing there that gives them extra stealth, yet they continue to evade me despite my counter-espionage and my ruler having extra spy detection and my prestige remaining at 100, increasing foreign spy detection. They're pulling off some <laughs> freaking bullshit. I don't like it. We'll have to march a military over there at some point. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, do let me know by leaving a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. Let me know your strategies, what you do in this mo in this like scenario, or just if you think I'm doing good or not. If you want to watch more EU4 but you are not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button so you will get notified when new videos go live. Perhaps hit the little bell icon as well because YouTube is a little wonky nowadays. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. Have a good one, folks.